it's 5.39, um, we can call to call the Human Rights Commission to order. We have no members of the public here tonight. Um, so the next item on the agenda will actually put us a minute yeah. ahead right of the schedule. <laughs> for the schedule, so we're good. Um, did everyone get a chance to see yeah. and review the May minutes? I move to approve. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Any changes to the all in favor of approving minutes? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Lori um, added the mission and strategies discussion to the agenda because um, we just, she and I didn't have a chance to connect. Um, I sent you all a copy of the, um, the images that are, still, I see Rachel coming, so maybe I'll, Hit pause for a second so we can let her come. This is a good seat. I can see. I know. People are coming up. It's like the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> see you in the back He's like there. the teacher. <laughs> there you go. You're done now? Yeah. We've been done for, um, well, for, yeah, but it's, we got out early this year okay. because we had a lot of half days. Um, not, I think we have one snow day this year. So the kids are going to dawn, I just, I never um, know. All of a sudden I noticed the kids aren't walking by the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're playing out in the back. Yeah. Ramp still doing good? What was that? Did you see, do you see? Was Brant still doing good? <laughs> we just um, we just played tennis together today. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, doing great. He's a good guy. Yes, good guy. Everyone is running on the summertime. It's nice and cool in here, though. A little bit of ventilation. So we actually just started it a few minutes ago. Okay. Um, and Lori will be joining us in a little Thanks. Um, so we really all we've done so far is accept the minutes from last month. So we have to uh, I was just starting to say that the, the next item on the agenda is there um, because I sent uh, images of our strategies and mission statement out to everybody uh, as a follow on to last month's meeting. Um, Lori wasn't sure if there was some kind of conversation we wanted to have around that. My intention was just to make sure everybody had them because not everybody was here when they first learned. So, um, any any discussion anybody wants to have about that? I think our current work seems to be in line with it, so that's. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can get around the Good. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's the hope is that we get that we will have those things not far from our eyesight so we can remember what we're here to do and what's ours today. Okay. Um, we were hoping Naral might be here, but she's not. So we'll have to table the prize survey follow-up for the next month meeting. Um, maybe I can ask Naral to get the data to you between meetings. Yeah, so that would be great. Get, yeah. Would you put that in a minute so I remember that I said I would do that? here after the last meeting with the intention to reach out to some uh, community partners for the survey. Um, I reached out to the International Language Institute for translation. I haven't heard back from them yet. Um, so next week I will try and go there in person instead of by email. Um, so that my report is short and sweet. But who was that? International Language Institute to see if we can get the surveys translated into Spanish. Who else had community partners they were? I, I spoke to Rose again, um, and she asked me more about our mission around um, the 
survey, uh, but we didn't have them an event, you know, actual, you know, some, some time when we could piggyback on what's been going on there, but I'm going to speak to her this week, so I'm hoping to have a, uh, we got interrupted from our chat message, so uh, I'm hoping to find a, something, a, a concrete time. What organizations are there? Um, that was a Pioneer Valley Group for seven years. So yeah, so I, I, as we were discussing it, I was immediately um, amending it when, and if and when we go out to have printable versions, I'll, I'll make that into the PDF and just kind of format that. Um, at this point, it's it's the electronic version that's amended. So we would, so if we do more kind of canvassing or um, events, we'll have to um, update the PDF version. Right, so I could probably recycle the leftover ones from the Pride. It's in proper order. Yeah, and I think that we, um, all of the ones that um, are in that folder have been, the data has been, they put exactly that expression. So the reason I ask is if it's, if the questionnaires were available again, just to keep experimenting with taking them to different meetings or places or events, mm -hmm. um, and sort of asking, seeing if people want to fill them out there and seeing how version two. Yeah, and I think that we we made a lot of progress. Um, I, if you'd like, we can go over what we have and just cement and solidify that, and then we'll make PDF version available immediately. If you wanted to do that, um, as, or we can, I can just make the PDF version and send it out, and then we can look at it for next time, or? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so next time I would make so many copies just in case we make changes. <laughs> we made a lot of Very ambitious. Yes. To the right. Yes. All right, thank you. All right. Well, we are well ahead of schedule here. <laughs> we are just getting so much accomplished. All right. Um, so continuing our development of strategies for the listening circle, maybe we are able to, I'm just looking at the pictures I took from the last time. We may be able to put together a more, um, more of a skeletal timeline. Uh, and we also need to consider what we're, what our questions will be at the listening circles and um, how we will begin communicating about them. Um, I was also thinking about any kind of small thing we could have for folks to participate. Mm -hmm. so it's nice to keep so a little mm -hmm. Um, something um, that might just be different depending on the, on the circle, but it's a nice gesture. Yeah, 
listening oh, session I had, she brought cookies. Oh, that well, there nice. you go. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is nobody knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to somehow get to get there, but um, I think that's a great idea. Just add just have little refreshments or something. Mm -hmm. so, let me just ask. Um, did we, I don't remember this, did we end up getting seed money from the mayor? I know it was being discussed, but. Yeah, I never got um, a call back from Susan Wright, who's the finance director. Um, so, but I need to check on that. Um, after Booker said that about taking the survey to some meeting, so I'm going back to the previous thing. I mean, I dare say, I could get them circulated among the faculty at the School for Social Work. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be a different, um, slightly different population, but I, I think that I probably could do that. If, if I, I, and I'm thinking I could, might be able to take the summer services and mm -hmm. um, sort of the church communities might do it to sort of fits. And it's sort of a, I think it's a easy way to sort of get feedback, mm -hmm. especially from the school social work and people that we would get into feedback that we could do this. Yeah, no, I, I think if I, you know, just had some copies. Yeah, I think that if there are, Those would be good ways to continue the beta testing and see if there's any other bugs we need to work out in the surveys. But that's very different from, unless we wanted to bring the information to the surveys as trigger mm -hmm. points. I actually thought that probably the best thing is having groups, going back to when we did the listening sessions, reading the International Human Rights Statement sort of reminded you of what things sort of thought, reminded me of what things were rights, and it's sort of surprising what the list is. So I, I think that should be a big part of what we continue to do. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if we had data from the other questionnaires that, that sort of said, by the way, here are things we've already gotten and see what happened there. Yeah. I think sometimes triggering discussions with very local data sometimes is useful. For instance, some of the information in high school kids was surprising. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and also it showed that we're actually not just talking to people of a certain generation that were actually interested in trying to talk to a lot of Yeah, I would want us to be careful not to represent any data we're giving as representative of the whole community. Right. Yeah. 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 But if we were to say, this is what high school students said, this is what... This is what 35 high school students right. said, this right. is what 15 members of the yeah, we have to be really yeah. really cautious. But should we maybe use that as a jumping off point and talk about what we want the listening circles to contain? I'm really digging the chalkboard, so. <laughs> we know you. Really. <laughs> I'm like reliving my childhood. I want one of those that has the four things that you can. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Music teachers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. All right. So we want some data points oh. for talking points. Thank you. Um, um, Thank you. It's quite a little. It's the little thing. <laughs> we want the Declaration of Human Rights as talking points. Um, so these, are, these are talking points? These are, um, these are things we want to incorporate into the sessions that we've... Okay, into the listening sessions. We're yes, at, I'm sorry, I, we're on the listening sessions, not the... Yes, okay. yes, I apologize. I, 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 no, made a, I made a mental leap. I, I missed something there. That's my fault. Um, okay. 
Yes, yeah, so for the listening se sessions, let's see if we can give some shape to them so we know what we're, what the it is that we're going to be asking people to participate in. Do we also give a little introduction of what the North Hampton Human Rights Commission is? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a really good idea. It's actually we didn't. That was the first question that was asked. So yeah. Who are you? Right. Well, you know. I do. What do you do? And what's going to happen with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yes. Um. Yeah, I think you almost. Yeah, I, I guess that was. What's we need some sort of say? What's the purpose? Uh, also, I guess we could reaffirm that it's anonymous. Right. Within that, we explained that, you know, we're not going to send this off to, you know, something there. Right. But at the listening circles, well, right, that's we're not, not anonymous. We're, yeah, we're not, um, well, we can take notes anonymously, but we're not asking them to fill out the survey at the right. listening circles, are we? Right. Or are we? Huh. Well, I mean, I don't see a problem with having them there if they want to. Why? I, what, would be, what would be the problem of somebody just coming to listening session and if they'd like to fill that out they can i mean i wouldn't hand it to them as they come in and say please fill it out but i don't see a problem with just saying by the way we have a questionnaire here and if you'd like to fill that out you're more than welcome to i was going to say let's put that on, on to the side for a discussion but actually speaking of confidentiality if there were issues that people wanted to bring up but they didn't want to say them out loud mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the question I think that's great. I think that's yeah. that. I think. Yeah, I think we have a starting coming. I think privately we could sit there and book it for two hours. 
Uh-huh. Well, I feel like if we're going to ask people to come for a, for a time period, we need to honor the start and end time of this thing. Right. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm just saying that if we if we started for an hour and a half and it goes to an hour and 35 minutes or something, or people want to mingle afterwards, that's all I'm saying. Right, right, yeah. And that time of um, people talking, did that become an issue or not really? No. No. Okay. We, had very, we had such small groups. Yeah, okay. Great. Well, actually, <laughs> no, we did have small groups. And, uh, I sat in on one group, and there was one person who could have talked to us. It might have been better if that person had talked to us. Um, and I think that's why we always thought we would be facilitators of the system of that. Again, it's complicated because if you don't have many other people to talk about, it's hard to. I mean, it's easy for a lot of people to say. You know, some people have spoken quite a lot. It'd be great to have the rest of you. Yeah, yeah. It's a little harder if you. Right. See, so maybe just give this an notation. You know, I think that's one of those things that you see how many people are in the room. Yeah. You have to have a plan for making from a guideline. Yeah. Maybe a suggested plan. I don't remember if we set out any sort of, agreed on any sort of rules, like- We did. I think we did, yeah. not, not, not interrupting. There were some, they were borrowed from uh, Northampton Connects. Yeah. Who well, was it that thing Narelle um, went to the Human Rights Commission yes. in Boston and came back with some guidelines that we thought yeah. was were good? Yeah. And I think about confidentiality. The, the only problem with that is that these could be covered by the media. Yeah. I mean, because these are public meetings, so. That's true. If we put that up there because we're giving them the option of using the questionnaire, if it was something they wanted confidential, yeah. and then they maybe even have the privacy and look, depending on what they look like. But yeah, that had thought it's true, it is public. But again, I think that's a good introduction. You know, this is a public meeting, so. What's said here, you know, won't be confidential, but if you have confidential stuff. Yes, yeah, that's true. If you're more comfortable being right in All right, so if we have 90 minutes, um, how many uh, questions can we ask and have conversation around? I know part of it will depend on how large the group is. And if it's a large enough group, we can divide it into smaller. So before we do that, uh, that sh that's the next question, but I, I guess I, so the last time we tried, what I remember was trying to do a format, I mean, so for Northampton Connects, and sort of tell us a story mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. something you were involved with, and um, which sort of made it, without, then you didn't have to say I statements, it was, a story. Mm -hmm. um, I, is that what we want to do again, or do we want to say let's speak more directly to concerns? That, that, that I, that's why I'm stopping and saying what do we want to just say? Just tell us what your concerns are. And mm -hmm. or we did stories because. So it wouldn't be, well, I feel this way about mm -hmm. this. And we're trying to get around that. But maybe we should do something. Right, so let's think, let's. Because um, that'll determine how mm -hmm. many things we do. Did you write them on dry erase boards or anything like that? Like the points are not really right. We had paper. Yeah, we had paper. Or something you would write them down. Yeah. That's what we did. Unlock an opportunity for the housing problems. The yeah. issues. We'd right. said, okay, and then we'd write down everyone's yeah. issue, and then we broke out the groups and explored. Uh, yeah. We brought it, but we didn't use it. 
that we just didn't have that many people. Yeah, so it wasn't that hard to. It was the only thing I think about the question, or the, not the question, but the, in, the story or whatever, <coughs> part of the, the reason we had them, and, and we had a couple just in our kind of our hip pocket to, to get it going, mm -hmm. to get people to, oh, you know, because okay. if we just went out and asked a flat out question out of the blue, dead silence. You know, nobody wanted to be so we started by saying well here's my experience and then it kind of so I mean I think we've got I think a lot of it just it's the facilitator it's having a facilitator they know when you need to do something like that that's that's their job mm -hmm. right. so I think it's nice to have it and then I think depending on the size of the group and, and the activity or whether you want to use it or not. You know, if you start asking questions, it's going to gangbusters, then you don't need it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about what we're trying to get out of these conversations. So we want to get, um, we want to get some anecdotal information about people's own experience of their safety and, um, and their, their, the protection of their rights in Northampton. Um, we want to get, a, and we also want to get a sense of where people think that there are problems so that we can help shape our work in the next year or two. Um, so, if, if one of the goals of doing this is to give us a direction of what we should then maybe the right stories isn't the right way to go. Instead of asking or finding a different way of asking people what if you could if you had the ear of the mayor and you were concerned about human rights, what things would you want to do? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's that's a whole different Oh, okay. um, so I think that what the listening tour does is complement the stuff that uh, is going on in the survey. Mm -hmm. So using that as kind of like a boilerplate for some, when we talked about ge general themes, um, it's one thing to just kind of broadly say, you know, what are some of the concerns you have? And it's another to say, here are a list of, of areas that we've identified that we're looking at. So the things that we have in our survey is have you ex experienced any type of discrimination, harassment, or bullying inside of racial, sexual orientation, nationality, gender identity, disability. And so if we use those as areas, then it might spur conversations in all of those areas and give us, um, so the, it, it's almost a, it's complement of the survey in, in the sense that we have like a focus group um, and those that, that anecdotal reliance in those and we can hash out some of that stuff uh, face to face. Um, and then as as means of if individuals are uncomfortable in those situ situations, we have the, the survey to, to provide additional information in a confidential way. Um, and so you can and you can quantify some of that data at, at the, the listening tour as well if you have certain pockets that you've kind of pre-assigned, which we have in our, in our survey, if that makes sense. Yeah, and also, and and if we ask people to, if we frame the question, have you witnessed this happening in Northampton? People could tell personal stories as though it were third person. Mm -hmm. We might make them create more safety. Mm -hmm. Right. We also want to keep it. I would I would keep it more of an open ended though. I would give it a yes or no answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. you maybe get a question that they, you know, what experience have you had, or. Can you tell us, or something like that, so that it, because it, we ran into that a little bit, we said, well, has anybody experienced something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. you, know, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about it, but you know, that type of thing. I actually do use that as a sort of springboard, to use information we've already got as a sort of springboard. It's a good idea. And it kind of works in two ways. General yeah. Sort of way. yeah, it kind of works two ways. So it gives them prompts. It was like, oh, okay, here's some of the categories. Oh, that reminds me of a time when. Mm -hmm. And the, you can also go the opposite way, where it's they start telling the story of not not being able to go down the sidewalk, for instance. So you know, would would you categorize that as kind of 
um, uh, disability discrimination. So then you can you can kind of have that quantifiable kind of database on different anecdotal stories and things like that. And then you can compare and contrast different different parts of the of the tour and stuff like that. When you said um, to use the survey, would we be providing data to these groups? I, ideally, the in, in, in my opinion, ideally, we would have some at least a kind of a robust set of data in which we could say, here are some trends that we've um, we've noticed. Do you do you agree, or do you do you have any um, any additional information about what we've um, done. I, we have a lot of information on LGBTQ plus in the it, because of going to the Pride Parade, um, looking at different contexts of you know social economic. Um, that's something that we don't have necessarily on the, the survey right now, or um, even just looking at kind of racial and nationality wise things like that. Um, having that data and then showing them that data and then reflecting upon that data. Um, but I don't think we'll necessarily get there before the listening tour starts. But that doesn't mean that we can't collect data on the way and, and say, you know, at this listening tour we, we found this and this is the data that we do have. Mm -hmm. And well, do we see these meetings as opportunities to get people to do the surveys as well as speak? Yeah, we, 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 um, we talked about that too. And you know, also respecting people's anonymity and things. Mm -hmm. So if there's you know a select few individuals, they may not be willing to fill up, finish or fill out that survey in, in that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's a good it's a good um, taking advantage of that situation um, and and also being able to kind of like I said quantify that data as they're there um, confidentially through their through their stories and things. I think that is would be good as well. Have we talked tonight about where we might do the surveys, additional places we might do the surveys? Not the surveys? Um, no, not additional places. We did, we reported back on uh, uh, ones we were following up on. Um, but we're not done with the survey, are we? I done editing it? No, uh, like, done. we're putting it out there. Putting it out no, there. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. No, and um, Davina's gonna, um, Distribute it to the Smith Social Work School and Booker I think I thought we might bring it to some Sunday services congregations uh -huh. and see what happens there. Yeah, because last time I re I said I would reach out to the libraries, which I did do, and um, Forbes is very eager for us to distribute it there and also set up a table. She okay. said this fair housing group set up a table mm -hmm. to get their service done and. Um, Lily Library isn't willing to do it, but, but it's a smaller library, so better to be a force, I guess. So that yeah. is, we can do that. Okay, great. She'll distribute it, she'll also like have a, a station at a computer where people can do it, and she recommends that we staff a table. Mm -hmm. So, so, so at, that. No, sorry, yeah, so it's eight times or something. Yeah, she said that late afternoon, either weekday or weekends is busy. I wonder if there's anywhere else in Florence that might be a central location. I'm just thinking about Pi, but it's probably because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, can't think of another Florence. Bill Dwight will say he already collected information <laughs> yeah. at Pi. Oh, I'm not that familiar with Florence. Uh, I am, but there's not like another, I mean, there's, you know, there's cafes. And there's the post office. So I don't know yeah. if they would. I, I don't know whether you, I mean, it would be a federal building. I think it would be. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether, how easy it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the Wednesday farmer's market, but I'd call them for other things, and they, they don't tend to like have tables there. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's, that's that question. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so where do we leave off? All right, so we want to um, have at least one 
question slash statement that reminds people of the different categories um, of possible discrimination and to reflect on whether they have heard or witnessed or seen any of that in Northampton. Um, and then we ask them to tell stories about it. Is that mm. Or to sort of address it mm. and speak to it. Either experiences or You had a question, I don't have the survey in front of you, the one that was like, that Northampton is a safe or welcoming place, true or false kind yeah, of Yeah, I believe that human rights are taken seriously. Oh, that, yeah. right. That's for a conversation when we were filling this out, because it's kind of like, it, you know, it gets people triggered, like, yes or no. That's, and then if so, you know, like, you know, think that, yeah, well, yes, it's kind of a dead end, but if not, why or how come, you know. So it's kind of, uh, it was a good way to, as, you know, by making a statement, um, as long as you follow up, it's an interesting way to get people to start talking. Oh, that's mm -hmm. not true. Blah, 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 blah. It's kind of like the, I guess, using the data we have. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking about um, in some workshops I've done where you can set up a line, like totally agree on this side, totally disagree on this yeah. side, ask the question, ask people to place themselves along the spectrum. And that also is a way of getting conversation with that. Why did you put yourself halfway? Or why did you put yourself? Mm. Yeah, that's true. Two thirds of the way. It brings up the nuances. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, we could um, take the survey to the shelter? To shelter the Grove Street in? Yeah. 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 I mean, that seems like it would be a good one. We could even, well, I don't want to, again, digress, but um, I was going to say we could have a post a, one of the circles there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could circulate the surveys on the screen and ask, oh, is that way? More, but that's more of an individual, that's not a missing session. Could we do that? Because I think that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. that. Yes, um, but I want to yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if we can get our structure nailed down. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think we should finish nailing down the structure. But something very different won't happen. What we might do with a kind of format would be very different at a listening circle at the senior center, mm -hmm. or a listening circle at one of the housing yeah. areas, yeah. Um, which might prompt some differences in format. I mean, we should keep to what, what the goals are, mm -hmm. which I think are Say out loud with the goals of this office. Okay. Say, 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 I say, think say. the reason we're doing this is we're trying to be able to generate a document that come December we'll be able to say, here are the things that we learned we sh the Human Rights Commission should be focusing on. Is that the goal? And focusing on for the purpose. I say that because I, I got asked that question. Oh, yeah, and I think it we did talk. Yeah. yeah, we did talk about the why last. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did. Yeah. Okay. When I answered that. Yeah. So. Um, yes, because we want something for Human Rights Day. We want to raise our profile. Um, and we don't want to work um, in the dark. I, said, I guess I said, um, for Rose, at least, um, we, we want to use this information to kind of educate and inform and advocate at the city government level mm -hmm. for changes or initiatives we might want to take. 
Right, because the, the mayor and the council will get. Those are the ones they would be more interested in. I mean, probably not a lot as much as necessarily as raising our profile. We know that's right. Thing. Yeah, so that that's that's a good one. And isn't another goal simply to listen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to be really weird. Why is it important that we listen? I think it's important that we listen to a broader cross section of the community than is represented among us. Right, so I'm mean, really asking us what will we do with what we hear? Shape our work for the next couple of years. Okay. So, it's listening and doing something about it. I mean, I think personally, listening has its kind of appealing property. But mm -hmm. that's what I mean. now, yeah, no, listening is really important. And Northampton Connects thinks the, the whole point is learning how to listen. Mm -hmm. that, that's the whole point, though that's taken away from a what are you going to do about it kind of goal. It's right. more about civility um, than other things. That's why I'm sort of tweaking. Mm -hmm. a little bit to say what's our because I felt when we did all these things, things before it was sort of I was interested in it from a, heck, can we learn to listen to each other's stories and pay attention and form a community around that well I'm, I'm now seeing because I wasn't at those listening circles that, you, that, that it's an experience in and of itself for the participants because they're even if they haven't just, you know, experienced discrimination now they're seeing that you know, their neighbors have that's got a lot of value. Yeah. That is coming from us. And I think going back to the Northampton Connects things, um, I think there was value in hearing people's stories and people's experiences. Listening and hearing. Raising awareness. A range of yeah. a range of experiences. The problem was it was it didn't turn out to be a range. That is another goal, really raising awareness kind of horizontally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when we start promoting this, the people who are going to be most interested in coming to a conversation about human rights are people who think that there's an issue with it. You mm -hmm. know, if you think that everything's fine, you may not take time out of your life to show up, but if you feel like there's some issues, at least to me, yeah. But I think the flip side is also true, which is some people go to meetings and some people don't. So I think to right. try and get information from people who don't do it's actually yeah. a real challenge. Yeah. I want to just make a suggestion about the intro, mm -hmm. that we say something about the stolen land issue in the intro. What's the stolen land issue? We're on stolen land. Somebody came to one of the, the senior center one and said that right first thing that she said. And I thought that's probably good to kind of give this a little context and to say, you know, whatever we do here, we're doing here, but there's been a history here that we can't ignore or that we should at least somehow acknowledge. I don't know if they did it at GA this year, but at General Assembly, they, um, in the past, they've had a representative from the local native nation, the local nation, um, leadership that does, it participates in the opening ceremony. Mm -hmm. to say this is so actually, they didn't. They didn't? And I was at GA for the UUA, and when people say, what did I spend my week doing? Well, I spent a week learning how to dismantle white supremacist culture 
and also figuring out how to center those who've been treated on the margin all the time. Mm -hmm. And that was thematically every discussion that went on mm -hmm. during the week. But somebody always hit the microphone from the floor to say, I just want to remind everybody that we're on stolen land. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when the meeting was taking place. Hey. Yeah. Do you know how I get into the town hall? I have a meeting at 7 o'clock. What's the meeting? Uh, it's uh, Regional Transportation Plan. Uh, oh, right. That's, 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 that's did you try that back door right there? I did. I did. Oh, it's, the front was. Oh. Yeah. But you're sure it's not in this room? Because this is where there's a lot of meetings. Yeah, we usually have this okay. meeting, and they said this room wasn't available, so they said we could have that second floor room. But. Huh. Well, we check that. <laughs> We're going to be out by 7. Yeah, yeah that's it. Starting at seven. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're going to be out by seven. Maybe they knew that. Lindsay is hosting that. Otherwise, hosting somebody it. will probably get there at about 10 of and open it up. <laughs> yeah, so it might All be right. a little too early because I think it's seven, yeah. seven six twenty-five. So maybe. Thank you. Sure. But they're just not there yet. Oh, so we could keep that. We're going to let anybody just show up up there. Yeah. Not a bad way to spend a week. No. Can't sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Was there something you had in mind specifically, Booker, about the I was asking about goals because then it turns how does everything we're putting on that list? Yes. They become objectives, sort of sort of how do we get to the other things. So this thing about storytelling and here's an issue that I think you guys mm -hmm. need to work on, mm -hmm. that they, they might separate it. But I just, uh, I think, I just love listening. I think that I actually agree. That's why I question it. Did you all video record the last time? No. 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 Northampton Connects videoed yeah. what we did. It was a little different. Um, and they videoed with the thought that maybe some of the stories that were told could become trigger tapes that you sort of listen to the story. Actually, I got videoed talking about how I love shopping in Northampton, but I always have to decide what side of the street to walk on so I can decide which people were going to ask me for money. Who, how I was going to avoid it. And, um, you know, and as a trigger, that takes people to a lot of places. Um, I'm just wondering, like, I, I'm, I'm hoping that if I'm listening, I can actually remember uh, the details of the stories. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about it. Uh, oh, we had it. We did have a script. You did? Yeah. 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 And a script. That's we, had a, I, we had a script, too. A script, but I, when they say the information or their story, I just want to make sure I won't, I'm not going to forget. Yeah, we oh, wrote we it down. Oh, oh yeah. We, yeah, I mean, we, I, at least our group, we wrote everything down. I, I oh. know that my particular group would never have wanted to be videotaped. Right, well, that's They would have yeah. 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 refused that. But yeah. writing stuff down was much more, less intrusive. So was that um, HRC people? You just had somebody? Okay. Like I did it. Okay. And then so I that's probably it. different than a facilitator. I mean, some people can do both. Right. I'm not sure that's my thing, but okay. Right. But that's a good point. We we yeah. want to have somebody. Maybe two people on. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea to have a script and not facilitate. Yeah. I think you want to. I think you okay. Want to facilitate. Mm -hmm. So there's the intro, the data points. Clarifying what the you know human rights are, so people kind of know if they can violate it. Yes. Um, or yeah. Do you think you begin with the introduction about um, the group, or do you think you actually begin with the reading? I think there's something <coughs> for myself, something symbolic about the beginning with the reading. It's such magnificent language. <coughs> like you grab attention if you start with that, is that what you're trying to be? Yeah, I think it 
kind of focuses you, yeah. and it's what Booker said, which it reminds you how we should be able to take this stuff for granted, and you can't. Right. I don't think that's a good way to do it. If you want to be dramatic, you say what it is after you've read it. That's the It's a long document. Yeah, it's yeah, it's we like mean like 22 or 23 things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Adapted. Adapted, right. For excerpt. So we have stories, we have issues. I didn't like how it turned out in the group I was with, but we probably should think. So there were some rather vivid stories. And we then sort of talked about, so where do we go with this? And actually, everybody interpreted this, although the stories had issues of discrimination, mm -hmm. uh, police, with, police not treating people fairly. Um, You don't know how to act. You don't know how to be honest with people you don't normally are in community with. And those were sort of what the stories were about. But when the group talked about it, it turned into economic inequality, and that's what the group wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Which I didn't really agree with that. Do you remember the story? Uh, yeah. You're, you're yeah, I'm. And so I was, I felt, so what I'm really asking is, do we, ask, how do we close the meeting? Of, so usually there were enough people in the room, we would break up in a group, we would do this, and then we would just have some kind of let's all come back together mm -hmm. and talk about what we heard in each group. And then the room sort of digests it a bit. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I, that's the usual format, that's the usual, how do we do this format. Mm -hmm. um, then we, uh, maybe I should stop there, but the reason I'm saying it is I'm a, if we take away the way the room digests the information, I think we lose some stuff. In the summer, but is that what we want? Right. Well, I think there's the risk. I, there's also the risk of someone taking my story and turning it into economic inequality when that wasn't my mm -hmm. truth. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's no. I don't. I don't think there's a perfection. Well, I guess, so maybe what I should instead say is guidelines, open-ended questions, stories, issues, and then is there, is there a summative, is there some kind of summative thing that happens at the end of whatever happens that I'm listening to? Would it be action? Are we asking them for yeah. solutions as well? Or I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I was actually wondering. thinking, right, I was wondering what would feel, and you, you all have done this before, like what lets them leave not feeling helpless. Yeah, yes. or kind of yes. mind. It, it, is, it is yucky to bring up all this yeah. stuff and yes. then walk out. Yeah, yeah. Um, without anything, any way sort of bringing it together yeah. in a more, so that you leave feeling hopeful. I think that's a really good point. Yeah, I think you want just to. But also, I mean, if our goal is to really figure out what action, what work we will do, don't we want to ask that question quite directly? We don't want to just hear and then assume we know what that means. Like, we also want to hear if they have things they think the Human Rights Commission should, should yeah. do. 
Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to assume the solution actually. Right. I I did. You had said earlier on. You phrased it as you know if you had the mayor's ear. Yeah. What would you do now? We do. Yeah. That's a place we occupy. We do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. But maybe if we could broaden it to say the city leadership because it's mm -hmm. the mayor and the city council both. Mm -hmm. What did you say at the end of the high school meeting? Yeah, what was the feeling? Were people riled up, or they so it was? Uh, um, it was more of a panel discussion. So the and the dynamic of students is also such that you know it's, it's an institution and there's traditional kind of authoritative. So like a panel discussion is the solutions are going to be. The questions were generated from the students, mm -hmm. and the concerns were being addressed from the students. But on a panel like that, it was kind of like the, the that final say was the answers were residing in the panel type thing. Mm -hmm. And so here, I, I I love that idea of um, of looking for suggestions to and, and possible solutions and ending, ending with that because it, it gives a little validation to individuals, and they're not only listened to but their recommendations are being heard. The one thing that we should clarify is that we don't necessarily address specific grievances, right. and that's mm -hmm. what um, yeah, you know. Making sure that in the beginning introduction is. Yeah. is yeah. 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 You mean about a specific person? Or so, a specific so situation. So even um, looking at you know s some of the examples were um, the sidewalks in disrepair, and you know we it's, it's in our ability to. Report those findings oh, to the mayor, um, and we don't have the or address the grievances of discrimination. Yeah. No, so. but I do. Could uh, that's that came up so many times. The sidewalk mm -hmm. thing. I could imagine mm -hmm. somebody in the solutions part saying, "I think the city should put, put the money out and plow the sidewalks." You know what I mean? That could be, yeah. and that's okay. That's we don't have the control of making it happen, but we can go to the city council and say we think this is a recommendation because this is fairness issue. Mm -hmm. And we also could be facilitators on giving that information to the to, to either different departments or yeah. individuals to contact. I think there's even a um, I think there's a form that you can fill out on the on the, the website where if there's a pothole in town you can fix. So if, you know even giving them that information, a lot of people don't understand don't have that information, and so anticipating some of the things that we've heard in previous listening tours and giving. You know that the power and information, and the power of directing them to the right to the right places as well. If we if we can't address it ourselves, I just but I I oops, go ahead. No go ahead. Well, it's just I I think a lot about what Elisa Klein said about how what's helpful is to for us to digest it more than just a report, and for us to say we think you should adopt this law or do so. You know, like mm -hmm. we probably can't get that specific because they know more than we do. But like. Don't just put the problem in their lap, but tell mm -hmm. them how legislatively they might address it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be the issue with trying to do something with Pioneer Valley Workers Center. Is they are going to ask for something very, how will we specifically use this and what mm -hmm. is specifically like to happen? Yeah. Did you already report back? What? Oh uh, yeah, I just reported that uh, I had a, had a conversation with Rose where I kind of covered what the purpose of it was, um, but we didn't um, decide on if we were moving forward or what the event, the yeah, the event that we would piggyback on would be. Did she have hesitation? Um, she just had questions about how it was going to be used, uh, and unfortunately, we didn't really get to wrap it up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with her. I think on set someday. Um, so I'll see. Uh, so I guess I can get yeah, a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I just want to follow up on what you were saying, Booker, about the, the, um, the inequalities, the financial inequalities, which certainly came up very powerfully in the group that I was in. And, and it's something we can't really address. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I mean, I think it's it wasn't something I particularly thought anticipated before or thought particularly about how to respond to. Um, and I think it is worth thinking about how you respond and how you get it more to things 
along the sort of, uh, I don't know about civility lines or behavior lines, we can certainly make recommendations to the mayor, but we're not going to be able to afford make radical financial change. Um, and I, I think, I think that, yeah, certainly the one that I was at, that whole thing, got, it, it really became focused on that to the exclusion of other things. And one man might be to say, we probably, much as we'd like to, can't do all that much to do to to change that. Not that we're not very aware of it in concern, but are there, what are the things we could all change working together? Or what are the Did they have them? Um, did anyone offer a solution, like more specific solutions like um, subsidized um, local um, well, housing? Yeah, housing. Yeah, yeah that, that came up, but it's like or parks and rec subsidized yeah. camps come up, come, come up, come up, talk to parents. I mean, it's I guess it's a good thing for city government to know. Yeah. But you're right. maybe just balancing the conversation. And this, the, the discussion in our group, it was sort of, there, was, there were people who had really grown up in the city, and people who were newer to the city, who, and they were talking about things that they could do at a time, couldn't, they couldn't do anymore. I can't afford to hang out in downtown anymore. Mm -hmm. So your concerns about hand handlers don't mean anything to me because I would never think of walking around downtown because um, I can't afford it. Um, and that's sort of where it it, made, it makes perfect sense. And sort of how is Northampton changing and why are we embracing that? Are we doing anything? And then. You can then start talking about subsidized housing, um, other things. But though know, that's where it went, and um, it didn't feel like that was, I don't have a way of putting that into human rights. Yeah. Um, but it, it, though it has an effect on what things are you concerned about in a city. It's almost like a culture of alienation, you know. Feeling that's alienated. a really good thing. That's a, that's a real thing. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like getting data from a high school, because that's one of the mixing pots mm -hmm. um, here. Um, and there aren't a lot of other mixing pots. This is pretty good. I guess we'd have to also think about dividing time, you know, how much time we want to give to each section. Well, the only thing is we haven't come up with the questions. Um, we have the structure, but we don't have the meat, right? Well, we talked about going from oh, stuff in the survey. Okay. Possibly. Okay, right. Forgot that. Starting there. So currently in the survey, we have, have you experienced any type of discrimination, harassment, or bullying in Northampton? And then we have um, certain um, kind of categories, racial, sexual orientation, nationality, gender identity, disability. Um, do we want to add socioeconomic to that? Or are we How would you do it? Yeah. I mean, how would you say it? Yeah, it's so broad, really. I mean, we're all associated. Class? Yeah. I'm sorry. Class, class is good because it has a cultural, she said class. And that actually, to me, has like a cultural component where socioeconomic kind of, like, we're all kind of discriminated against. We don't have enough money to get things we want. Yeah. And the cost of living. But, Class is more of an identity. Yeah, interesting. Cost of living. 
I, so, I, I do think you, there's a danger of going down a rabbit hole yeah. because we can all agree on it and there's not any easy answers. It might shine and the it's slightly yeah. different, even mm -hmm. though it's totally relevant and central, mm -hmm. it's slightly different from, from sort of the kind of discrimination that I think we've anyway been aiming for. I think you're right. Yeah. I don't feel I have an answer one with the other. No, I mean, there's specific groups like at maybe at my mind, um, folks without housing. Mm -hmm. That takes a different meaning. It's, I mean, that is yes. relevant to that. Yeah. So, so I have some guess. I, I would not want to put economics. Or, you know, my guess is the issues around housing will be is the housing fair? Is it well? Is more campus? You know, we almost had to do letters about the air conditioners right. um, yeah. in the senior center. Um, and that was going to be a new mm -hmm. one's issue. Um, um, so it's more, is there quality, are there adequate public transportation to all the areas? Or is, does that disappear in some way? Mm -hmm. um, those things should be human rights that are separate from I don't want to drive there because I don't think I, I'm afraid of what will happen when I go to Kansas. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and the discrimination goes on. So I would not want to talk about inequality as an issue. It's more what things are happening because there may be differences in where people live. So we're going to leave, leave that out of the survey. Yeah. Did that come up in, in the survey so far? Or I, no. I'm bringing it I up. I didn't have it. Yeah, it, it wasn't yeah. in it. I think it just came up as a summary statement at what we heard some of the listeners. The closest that we came to um, concretely addressing it was the issue of homelessness. And, and access to kind of resources and shelter. I think that that was the closest that I could address. Yeah, that makes sense. But that is a, that could be, is there a, there should be, there's been a lot of discussion about should there be some kind of community center downtown mm -hmm. or someplace or maybe multiple places. This is actually, this sort of stopped Northampton because that's actually turned into the information we were good at. People want to be community Should St. Mary's be bought and changed into a community center? I think they're not teenagers yet, but I do hear that from parents and teenagers that they wish there was a community center. We want to ask it as experienced and wit or witnessed, or just asking what people experienced personally. I think we should say both. Yeah. Experience and or witnessed. It might be reluctant to tell a personal story, but it gives it an avenue to say witnessed even yeah. Right. yeah. But I think we should take the word bullying out of that. I think we should just say, because bullying has such a school connotation and mm -hmm. has a political element to it. Okay. That's Do we want to take it out of the, it's currently in the survey? No, I just mean for the purposes of the conversation. So that, yeah, like it, it, it seems sufficient to say uh, discrimination and harassment. Mm -hmm. Do some people agree with that? Yeah. So, and that will be more of a show of hands or, oh no. What, what, and don't we want to say tell us about it? And then invite stories. Okay, so you're, I thought we would just ask the open question and tell us about the ex experiences of discrimination and harassment that we have experienced. Um, 
that you want to have them actually raise their hand? Well, here's my thought, um, and tell me what you all think. Um, since we're just, this is going to be people who don't necessarily know each other, um, if we ask them, have you ever experienced or witnessed, da 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 da, and they can see, you know, there's a few other people in the room who also have, then they might be more willing to share a story because well, they know they're not the only ones. Yeah, and I suppose that is more data for members. So then you say, uh, would anyone like to share more about that or something mm -hmm. like that? So people are obligated. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, I think yeah, because both parts are valuable. It's good to know just to show the hands, even if people are willing to share with them. Right. And we know that there's more stories in the room. Yeah. And we're going to ask more than one question, right? This is yeah, well, that's where we're at. So that would be one. And mm -hmm. um, anything else just before the solution uh, part that we would want to ask? Well, one thing I think would be good to ask is, uh, did they feel that they had someone to go to mm -hmm. or help and support? Mm -hmm. Did someone offer you support, or did you have someone you felt you could go to to seek support? So just about that story, or do we want to know in general? Oh, I like guess, yeah, that's probably in general. So are we talking sort of institutionally, or are we talking personally? You know, yes, I went to my friend, or is there a, and where would you go when something blatant happens? So if we were talking about someone, who gets around with a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And someone who uses a wheelchair, that person said, I, I have trouble all the time. Then I can see asking this, who, who do, you, do you feel you have a resource to help you with the problem? Now, if we were talking about This, um, um, I feel like this person at this place mistreated me because I'm trans. Was there some way, what was, do you feel like you have a resource that you could use? I don't. I can't figure out what the words are, but is there a resource that's available for assistance? Yeah, I mean, I actually do think it should not be personal. It should be institutional, like either some city or private agency. Yeah. But you think I'd be thinking about bystanders because the, the oh, bystander right. data is kind of um, the, tr the amount of a, that a negative event is tra 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 traumatic to a um, yeah a person is so much about how bystanders respond. And it would be interesting, but maybe that's, I mean, that's a hard, that's a cultural thing almost if it's not an institutional, so that maybe that we don't want to bring up something that we can't control, you know, or do address. But it would be interesting if someone, if someone who says they walk down the street and someone yelled something racist or sexist, how did, did you feel that, that the um, witnesses were uh, helpful or were, so it's, yeah, yeah it's too. Well, no, but it does seem like it depends on the story. So a bystander could be relevant to one story, and yeah, city right. hall could be relevant to another story. Sure. And I do think if we find out people say, yeah, the bystander did nothing, we might decide, okay, we should do a bystander training. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think that's a bad avenue to So maybe we study. need a little if then with the certain types of questions, we just kind of know that those might be follow ups, right? That's why we will need. Or, yes. or we just have a, or we have a sentence that's 
that had slashes like yeah that's a good way did you it. feel support did you feel that you had a resource in city hall to go to or an agency that was going to address your needs or did bystanders figure out for you but yeah that's important. it's actually interesting you know I, when i last heard about some really horrid horrid racist thing that happened where would you go I mean, in fact, this person was with friends and colleagues. Mm -hmm. But where would you go? I mean, that, I'm going to come to the mayor's office. Yeah. Right, I know, it's true. I mean, and I could and imagine. And again, the, the example that we're going to yeah. or, or if somebody was saying they felt they were racially profiled by the police, where would they go? Right. Yeah. You know, or if, uh, you know, a waiter said something, did they feel like they could go to the manager, or did they feel like they were all, you know, that kind of thing would be interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's actually a hot story. Oh, I know, I was, did I just guess the story? Probably why Rose is a little busy. You mean if somebody spit in someone's food? Oh, right. <laughs> I, maybe, I'm not like crazy that, but perhaps I'm reading. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not the event, but the fact that I thought I was going to that. Uh, actually, a GA. Security was noted to be following different people around the building in different ways. And it was immediately reported to people at GA, and there were immediate meetings and then announcements saying we've had discussions with security mm -hmm. about people being profiled. You could wow. probably actually see that if they had security cameras. You could probably actually watch someone. Well, they said, yeah. every, although we were wearing these massive badges to show that we belong there, they sort of some people were being asked, can I just see your badge a little more carefully? And um, so it was announced throughout the hall and as a way of, so this is an example of somebody felt uncomfortable, somebody said something. Oh, right. And, yeah. and it became an issue for the whole place. So I've yeah. never seen that happen. Wow. I, I also, I'm not sure this is the whole, the real world, is it? No, she is. She is a sure. little boy yeah, yeah, is that a bubble. For you. Oh, for you, you, okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But it is sort of this ideal. Yeah, doubt. you're trying to do things right. Yeah. And, and you have to respond like that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Good. There's a double burden to, to, to respond. Have we got a timeline yet? Um, okay, so that's yeah. I have one more recommendation for a yes. question. And I guess setting the compass, just, it's, it's difficult. When we get this stuff, we have, we, you know, I was like, oh, you know, this is really good, positive feedback and everything. Um, but I guess the framing of the question would be something like, how is your experience with human rights in Northampton compared to other local communities? Mm -hmm. So if there's something that we're particularly, that we're, we could improve on based yeah. on others. So I never have that problem in, um, in, in Amherst when I go downtown, or I, I've experienced things that are worse in this community, not get stuck in the weeds on it, but give right. us a little bit of sense of where we stand as a community as compared to other places in, in the valley. Um, that that makes me nervous because we're not collecting any data about those other communities. So it just seems so anecdotal. Yeah, that's I think I think anecdotal is what we're getting from the listening circles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is not an observer. Okay. But I, it is very yeah. subjective. I mean you're saying it's it's pretty subjective. I and mean, this is all subjective, but yeah. There's just, a, I mean, we don't need to have that, but, you know, if, if there's, there's ways, I mean, to what point is this, is a standard applied? Yeah, is, so um, I hear what you're saying. You know, I mean, yeah. you're not even, you can, you, you can even shorten it to say, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? Yeah. You know, instead of getting to a point of, well, God, we're better than Springfield or we're better than Amherst or we're much worse than so-and-so. And, -so, and yeah. Holyoke or something like that mm -hmm. <clears throat> because I think you're you're the, the real question comes down to you know what are we doing right actually that's mm -hmm. really a good point maybe we should ask the question about what's working well where and when do you feel safe in Northampton we're like the sidewalks for instance you know 
where the, 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 in some places, some communities, I imagine the sidewalks are better than they are. Perhaps that could be a good lead into the solution part. Like that could be start and we can jump says jumping off point. Oh, I think a lot of sidewalks are bad in a lot of places. Yeah. Okay. So I have a summertime reminder. We have about two minutes left. Yes. Oh, is it shorter? Oh, seven. 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 No. seven. Yes. Yes. Um, I am going to just double check on the open meeting law to see if I can set up a Google Doc with a timeline, with a calendar that people can um, contribute suggestions to without conversation about it right. that we can talk about at the next meeting so we don't have to start from scratch. Well, that's a great idea. Yeah. If we can't do it as a Google Doc, I will send a template to each of you oh. and then compile them and have them move back to you. Oh, right. right. That's a great idea. I've also shared the meeting minutes, and a lot of this is kind of bullet pointed down, just like this. Awesome. Awesome. That would be good. Great. So, great. One thing I might find helpful is is like for in for preparing the agenda for the next meeting, if, do people have thoughts about what we should what we need to accomplish at the next meeting? Because then I can put that on the agenda. I I think we need to get um, I think we need to get the timeline. Okay. And I think we need to get the um, press release and communications plan. Okay. And my question is about. So then, so I, um, I think I shared the folder with the survey and everything. I've included a new PDF in that folder um, with the updated minutes. Okay, so that's it. So can I make another suggestion too about next time? Um, oh, I guess it seems like if we're going to do some more surveys, we want to make a plan for that too. Right, make a plan for where we're going to go and how we're going to do it. And that would be the timeline, I guess. But specifically, talk about how many surveys do we want to build up. Right. Great. Um, alternatively, so I'll put survey numbers and locations. We could um, we could empower a subcommittee of this commission to do some of this in between now and July. So, is there a problem if one of us pulls the PDF out of the file and prints off a bunch and distributes them someplace. Is that okay? That's okay. So you talking about the survey? Mm -hmm. Okay. We basically did it alone. I thought we were going to do it in, in, like, as a group, but it, it just made more sense for, I didn't even see Neural or Megan or this kind of uh, survey separately. It worked. Yeah. Jeremy, does it work for you to still receive all the surveys? Thank you so much. That's really yeah, just thank you. wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of such good. a contribution. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, are we going to, I mean, this is a lot of information. Are we going to pull that together and sort of condense it? Yeah, we've got it in the minutes. So, right. so, so a, lot, a lot of it is kind yeah. of verbatim from in, in the minutes. And we do need to adapt the, the preparation at some point, but that's it. Yes. Yeah. But that could be an individual task. And of course, there's a whole other meeting about. How do we get people to the session? Yeah. Which yes. is such a huge issue. You know, this is all great. We got it, but nobody shows up. Doesn't do much good. Yeah. Right. Um, does any would anyone be willing to draft a press release between now and July that we could have as a starting spot so we're not starting from scratch? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I will. <laughs> 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 Can we talk about the next meeting? I just what, the next we, there are five uh, Wednesdays in July. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna be away on the twenty fourth. So oh. and I didn't know if other who who's who's gonna be here on the twenty fourth? I shall be there. I might I should be here. Okay. So all right then. If a lot of people were going to be on vacation, I was going to say, let's do it on the 31st. But, but I'll, I'll get, I mean, I could do it on the 31st if you would like to. Yeah. Oh, well, no. I mean, um, I'll, I'll send out a 
I'll ask the whole. A doodle? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but if I'm not here, I'll do the press release for asking for. Sorry. Great. You and do them so beautifully. What? You do them so beautifully. Yeah, I mean, let's remember sure. to look highlight to maybe have the Forbes. Because that's the Forbes survey? Yeah. yeah. But they'll just, if we want to person it, then we need to just put yeah, it on the timeline. Exactly. Line. I'll write down. I don't forget because that's an interesting idea. May I move for adjournment? Any second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Good Thank board. you. Friends.